My name is Omar Aden, and I would like to give everyone a warm welcome to another edition of Exposed. In this particular story, we will, we will be following the controversial issue with regards to the rising tuition fees. To help us gain insight in this particular issue, we gathered a wide range of opinions from students affected, as well as teachers and members of authority. In this edition, we also followed the live protest which took part in Central London and Westminster Abbey to get a slice of the action and to find out what motives and, uh, students had to voice their opinions in such a way. First off, we joined some of the students at the live protest to see what their thoughts were on the rise in tuition fees and what they think on losing EMA. We feel it's really awful and we feel that shouldn't happen, but we feel we want to we wanna promote the fact that we don't want them to go up. I think it's far too much money and it doesn't justify the benefits that will come from it. Uh, but I can see the positives in it, that it will provide more money for the universities so they can improve. Um, it means that like, if I don't get EMA next year, then there's not really incentive for me to get into college on time. I'll just come in when I feel like it. And this, the university fees are going to be so high, it's going to stop people from going to university and getting good jobs. And they're complaining that there's not enough jobs and that there's not enough money to be put people to bail, not, not enough money to bail people out and stuff like that. So wouldn't more jobs be need to be created for that to happen? I think it will make some people hesitant because of the large debt it will make. But I feel for the majority of students who are serious about going to university, it won't put them off. We also got the opinions from two members, of, two members from the education establishment. I think it's uh, grossly unfair, particularly to uh, poor and working class students. I'm a bit shocked um, to go from 3,000 to 9,000 is actually quite a, a substantial increase. Um, and that burden is now going to fall on individuals who want to... Back to the live protest now, and we now have a brief idea what the students think. We also wanted to find out if, if they think that protesting is the right way to go about it. Well, I think yeah. that if, you know, if enough of us do come out on the streets, enough of us are protesting, the fact of the matter is that we can have, and this can be our poll tax, we can essentially manage to, to put a rock in the toy shoe and keep, keep the EMA and keep the, keep the, um, and scrap fees for education. Yeah. humanities that um, subject is, is to get intelligent people on like, exactly. I don't know, create, create debate, create like critical thinking and this does not promote that like yeah. we need more intelligent argument. Again, um, we then linked um, what the uh, lecturers had to say previously on their thoughts on the protest and to find out to find out if they think that this is the right way to go by. I think violence at uh, demonstrations is problematic uh, because there has been a lot of contention about policing tactics and about corralling and some people call this mass arrest and the denial of people's human rights and obviously young people get uh, angry and upset about this and so and it can spill over into violence and once that cycle starts you know you mm -hmm. we forget what caused it but really what's causing this is a sense of deep unfairness and yeah. Violence usually leads to more violence, obviously, and mm. uh, it's not a good thing. But I'm not quick. I'm not so quick to condemn the students. I think it's very unfortunate. I think the vast majority of the, of the students who were demonstrating um, were there for uh, good reasons. Mm. But as always, if you hold a demonstration in a public place, there will always be individuals who mm. hijack the situation for their own ends, and they like nothing better than to cause, uh, cause problems. That then reflects upon the cause and the individuals who are there. It's clear that Nick Legg is not a very popular man within the UK today after going back on his word about not raising the tuition fees. So we then went, we then went down to the student protest to find out some of the concerning views of the students involved. I say to Nick Legg that that's why I voted for you, Nick, because you supported education. I think Nick Legg is a Tory. <laughs> He should have stuck by what he was saying, that was yeah, the main reason I voted for him, but I don't know, I don't feel like he's evil, I don't feel like he's done this on purpose. 
thank you very much for, for joining us on another educational episode of It's Exposed. Um, after hearing some of the views about Nick Clegg, it's clear that this Nick Clegg guy is not very popular um, within the student community. H however, I'm, I won't stop until I find out the real story. I'm, I'm off to interview Nick Clegg myself. Once again, we then link this to what the lecturers had to say previously on, on their thoughts and um, like. Oh, do this one. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah go. Oh, it's ready. I'll start again. Nah, oh, just go. Well, just go. Oh, fuck. In this particular issue, we gathered a wide range of opinions from students and members of uh, and teachers. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> To help us gain insight in this particular issue, we gathered a wide range of opinions from, st from students affected. We also gathered um, opinions from uh, um, teachers and members of authority. In this edition, we also ah! find out what students thought about Nick Clegg uh, um, after going back on his word, um, as he had previously promised he would not raise the tuition fees. Why is someone talking about that? Finally, we wanted to find out what students thought about Nick Clegg uh, after, after he had went back on his word about not raising the tuition fees. Again. We also got the opinions from two members of, two members from the education establishment. Hey, Wiener! 